Which of these scientists is most closely associated with the laboratory apparatus shown below? A. John Dalton B. J.J. Thompson C. Ernest Rutherford or D. James Chadwick This is the apparatus that J.J. Thompson used. It's called a cathode ray tube. Here's the cathode, which is a piece of metal that is subjected to a negative voltage. A beam called a cathode ray comes out of the cathode and travels to the other side of the tube, which is coated with a material that lights up when hit by the cathode ray. This particular tube is designed so that the cathode ray passes through a pair of metal plates. When a voltage is applied to the electrical plates, the cathode ray is bent toward to the positive plate. This led to the conclusion that the cathode ray is a stream of negatively charged particles. Since the same behavior is observed regardless of the material used for the cathode, it meant that these negatively charged particles are present in any atom. These particles are now called electrons. In other words, a cathode ray is essentially an electron beam. Modern versions of cathode ray tubes can be found in television sets and computer monitors, but not the flat panel kind.